little flea. Alita Battle Angel 2 might just be happening. James Cameron and Robert Rodriguez have been dropping hints about it. Let's spill the tea on everything we know so far about this exciting sequel. Even though Alita Battle Angel hit theaters back in 2019, fans have been clamoring for a sequel practically since the credits rolled. Directed by Robert Rodriguez and backed by James Cameron, the film introduced us to a world where a mysterious cyborg with no memory discovers her incredible combat skills and embarks on a quest to uncover her past. Despite not smashing records at the box office, it garnered a dedicated fan base drawn to its unique style and storytelling. Originally, the movie was supposed to kick off a sprawling cinematic universe. However, while it grossed a respectable $404 million worldwide, the high production and marketing costs meant it fell short of studio expectations. This financial hiccup seemed to shelve any plans for a follow-up, but hold on tight because it appears that Alita Battle Angel 2 might just be making a comeback. So here's the scoop. While there hasn't been a ton of news buzzing around about it lately, the producer, John Landau, is still feeling pretty confident about the whole thing. He's been reassuring eager fans that talks are still in progress for the much-anticipated sequel. Landau even mentioned in an interview that he's super proud of how the first movie turned out and that he's itching to dive back into that world. He's not alone in this either. James Cameron, the co-producer, has also been vocal about wanting to explore more of Alita's universe. The good news is that this sequel is confirmed. James Cameron himself spilled the beans back in July 2023, mentioning that he's got his hands full with Avatar and the new Alita films. Even director Robert Rodriguez has been getting in on the excitement, mentioning in May 2023 that talks have been happening with Cameron and Landau about making Alita Battle Angel 2 a reality. Though there's no set release date yet, Rodriguez hinted that production might kick off once certain industry strikes settle down. Fast forward to October 2023 and Rodriguez gave us a little update, saying that once those pesky strikes wrap up, they'll likely start diving into Alita 2 production. Well, it's over now, so they might dive into production. And you know what? It seems like the stars of the first movie are just as hyped. Rosa Salazar, who played Alita, has been very vocal about her desire to return for the sequel. And let's not forget Edward Norton and Christoph Waltz. They could be back to reprise their roles too. Even Lana Condor, who played Koyami, expressed her excitement about potentially returning, saying she'd love to explore more of the vast universe that the original IP offers. And just when you thought the excitement couldn't get any higher, Jeff Fahey, who played McTeague, dropped some optimistic hints about his involvement in the sequel. With that being said, Rodriguez spilled the beans, saying that Cameron has already sketched out some storylines for both Alita Battle Angel 2 and 3. This news came after a bunch of smaller updates and reports, where everyone involved in the original film expressed their excitement about coming back for more action. But hey, before we get too carried away, let's remember that Disney hasn't made any official announcements about more Alita movies just yet. Now, you might be wondering why it's taken so long to get the ball rolling on Battle Angel 2. Well, even though the first movie made back its cash at the box office, it didn't exactly blow everyone away with its $405 million haul. Plus, things got a bit tangled up when Disney bought 20th Century Studios. But here's the thing, despite all that, the movie's got a super loyal fan base and tons of people, including the stars, are pumped for a sequel. And Cameron's recent Avatar success has got people thinking that maybe his latest comments about Alita 3 hold some weight. Now, normally you'd expect a third movie to depend on how well the second one does at the box office. But maybe Cameron's feeling pretty confident about how the sequel will do. Or maybe they're planning to film both sequels one after the other, taking a page from the Avatar playbook. Either way, if Alita 2 and 3 are happening in the next few years, we're probably not too far off from Disney making it official. So, fingers crossed. During a recent chat with Collider, Rodriguez got hit with the big question about Alita 2 and where things stand. He straight up admitted that he wasn't entirely sure if a sequel would ever see the light of day. But you know what? His hopes got a major boost after seeing other Fox projects get the green light. And get this, talks are happening as we speak. 
While there's not much more concrete news to share, he's keeping faith. He spilled, I mean movement other than us talking about it. You know, I just wasn't sure it was ever going to happen, because even when the first movie came out, Disney had just bought Fox, so even our marketing people, everybody, were gone by the time that movie came out. And then there weren't any Fox movies being made for years because Disney was still busy making its own Disney stuff. But now I've seen some Fox movies come out and that gave me hope. And guess what else? John Landau, the producer, dropped a bombshell that got Rodriguez pumped. As it turns out, both Landau and James Cameron have always been keen on an Alita sequel. Cameron even went as far as outlining detailed plans for a second and third flick. So, yeah, they're crossing their fingers that it'll all come together. But for now, it's all about staying positive and hoping for the best. Disney needs to get moving on with Alita Battle Angel 2, and here's why. This project has been brewing for ages, thanks to the vision of James Cameron. He's been eyeing an adaptation since way back in 2000. Although Cameron's plate was too full to direct it himself, he passed the baton to Rodriguez while he focused on his Avatar sequels. But don't think Cameron's just lounging around. As a producer, his expertise still shines through in Rodriguez's polished final product. The first film made a splash, raking in over $404 million worldwide. It didn't just introduce a whole new crowd to a beloved manga series, it also earned praise as one of the best live-action manga adaptations ever. But here's the kicker. It barely scratched the surface of the original story. There's a ton more Alita universe left to explore. Now, Disney's all about maximizing their big franchises, and Alita Battle Angel fits the bill perfectly. It's got a built-in fan base and a wealth of source material to draw from. Plus, with Cameron's recent hit, Avatar The Way of Water, under their belt, Disney should be taking notes from the master. Rodriguez seems hopeful that Disney will push forward with Alita 2, and let's hope he's right. We're all eagerly waiting for some solid news on this front. Looking at where the Alita Battle Angel 2 story might head, it's pretty clear what direction the franchise is taking. Nova stands out as the big bad, like the Thanos of the Alita universe. Since he made it out alive in the first movie, it's a safe bet that Alita 2 could focus on her quest to confront this menacing foe and seek justice for Hugo's death. And let's not forget that tantalizing glimpse of Zalem, the city in the sky, teased in the final shot of Alita Battle Angel. And that wraps up today's video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one. Feel free to drop your ideas for future videos in the comments section below. Your input is always appreciated.